Well, 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 welcome back to Jikoni Yangu. Hope you're doing well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so far if you love what you're seeing. This is Jikoni Yangu and my name is Sebi and we do amazing recipes in this channel. So this is the recipe that I'm going to teach you guys today. How to make your biryani, tasty biryani at home. So here we go. I'm going to begin by showing you the ingredients that we need to make the amazing meal. So here we have our tomatoes and then here we have our grounded ginger and garlic. You know, we can't miss on ginger and garlic. And then here we have our tomato paste. And then we have our cumin seed, which we are going to need when we are making the rice. And then we have our black pepper. And at the corner there, we also have lots of onions. And then here we have our food color. And then we have our curry powder that we're going to use. And then we have our chicken masala. And last and not least, we have our fermented milk, which we will need. This milk cannot go without the fermented milk. So here I have already mixed my chicken with all these ingredients. Curry powder, black pepper, chicken masala, and the grounded garlic and ginger so here i'm putting them inside the sufuria i will since i'm not going to wait for like two hours three hours for it to marinate i'm going to add in water and then boil it for like 15 minutes or so since the chicken is broiler chicken it's really soft doesn't need a lot of time to boil so we are going to boil it for like 15 minutes so that the marinade can be able to soak in just boil it for 15 minutes and leave it so that the marinade can soak in. Meanwhile, I have my frying pan here. Add in my oil. I'm going to fry my onions. For biryani, you need lots, lots of onions. And I mean lots of onions. And here, I'm going to just brown my onions. Make sure they turn golden brown. So that I can be able to use them. Meanwhile, check on my chicken. And it's already done. So back to my onions and my onions are doing so well and they're about to brown up and here I'm putting, I'm setting them aside in a plate so that I can be able to use it for its purpose later on. So cool. So this is what my onion looks like. And the next thing we are going to do, we are going to deep fry our chicken inside the oil, same frying pan, same frying pan that we used to fry our onions. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing absolutely wrong with it. We're only getting all the flavors. So make sure your chicken is golden brown like this. And then set them aside also. And yeah, I can, I'm already loving the aroma that is coming out of this. Yo, guys, I can't wait to have a taste of this meal. Next thing, I have my sufuria here. I used the oil that I used to brown my onions and deep fry my chicken so there's no harm those particles are from that oil so here we go in with our browned onions already and mix them all together we are going to go in with our chicken masala and then we're also going to go in with our curry powder inside the same sufuria mix it all up for the flavors come in with our black pepper and also go inside with them and then mix them up so that you can get all the good flavor yeah, guys, we want the chicken to come out so tasty and very yummy. Also, remember that while we boiled our chicken, we boiled our chicken with little salt. So here, you'll only go with little salt so that it can taste. So here, I've already poured in my tomato. I'm going to cover them to soften up a little bit and then try and crush them after like five minutes. Add in my one and a half tablespoon of tomato paste and then mix them all together, guys. Yo, we can't wait for this biryani. So far, if you love what you're seeing, if you love biryani, a thumbs up to this video. Make sure you comment down below how you do your thing in the kitchen when preparing the biryani. Support your girl. Make sure you also hit the red button and subscribe if you've come this far with me. So here is the salt that I'm adding, just a little bit of it so that it can taste Remember, we already boiled our chicken with salt. So keep that in mind as you put in your salt inside this stew that you want to make. The next thing we're going to go in with our browned chicken. Mm, I can perceive a good aroma. Can you perceive it from where you are right now? Like, Ebu, think of the garlic and the ginger. Yes. So here's the stock I was talking about that we set aside. The water that we used to boil 
the chicken. Don't let it all finish. Just sieve a little bit and set aside for this time. So yeah, here we are. We are mixing our chicken all together. We want all the good stuff while eating the flavors. Kila kitu yote tamu. So yeah. And the next thing we're going to do, just make sure you shake your fermented meal very well before you put it inside our stew. Here I'm trying to shake it so well so that it's nice to go with the recipe. So here I go in with my fermented milk and I mix it up all together to ensure that it gathers all the flavor. It's mixed everywhere, left, right and center, everywhere and yeah, let's just uh, sit down and wait for our soup to be thick. So it's already thick and we know we are already doing this. It's ready already. So here we go with our fried onions. I'm doing it differently. I start this. I'm going to prepare my rice here. So I've started by going in with my onions and little oil. Remember, my onions have oil and our rice doesn't have to soak in oil. So we are just going to add in our onions there, the browned onions, and then just little salt to taste for your rice and then mix it all up. Also add in your cumin seeds. This is where you go in with your cumin seed. Yes, so there the, you go and then just add them inside and then mix them all up for all the extra flavors. So I'm going to go with three cups of rice, hence six cups of water, guys. When you're putting one cup of rice, two cups of water. So yeah, another thing to learn for those people who don't know how to put in water for rice for preparation. So here I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. And at this point, I've really, really lowered my heat. After some time, it's almost ready. And I go in with my food color, mixed it just with little water. And yeah, and voila, our food is ready, guys. Yo, 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 you can smell the aroma. It's about to get lit with the food. If you've loved the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you love biryani, if you've ever eaten it. Till my next